Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and laying right here is Gabriel. Gabriel's information will be right there on the screen. He is the pickle by Nikki Johnston and he is a beautiful baby. I love this chunker. Uh, today is two different things. It is Thankful Friday and it's also Pickle Week. So we're sharing our pickles and this is all hosted by Tammy over at Tater Tots Nursery. So we're just supposed to share our pickles and dress them however we want and give Tammy a tag. And let's all be praying for Tammy. If you didn't see her video, she's going through a lot right now, you guys, with work and all of that. Just very stressed out. So let's all be praying for her. Keep her in our thoughts and prayers. And uh, we're going to get little Gabriel here changed into something um, more comfortable and cuddly because he's such a cuddly boy. But first, we're going to go ahead and do Billy Graham wisdom for each day. As long as he's sleeping away, he got nice and full and he's just out cold. All right, today we're on September 27th, free of pride. Patience is better than pride. Amen to that, you guys. Let's not worry about that pride of what we have, the best of the best. You know, we just got to remember to love God and honor God and just enjoy our life and uh, trying to, you know, live it the best we can and just get ready to go home with the Lord one day. Um, here it says, he has dropped out of church when he didn't agree with a building project that was being planned after his wife died. However, he found himself wishing he had never left. His loneliness was almost more than he could bear. But would he have the courage to swallow his pride and go back to church? Finally, he did. And he only and his only regret was that he hadn't done it sooner. Maybe this reminds you of a situation in your life. Do you need to swallow your pride? Do you need to apologize or admit you are wrong about something? Do you need to work to restore your relationship with a brother or sister in Christ? Especially if you were the one at fault. Or like this person, do you need to get back into a fellowship of believers? If so, confess your pride and seek God's wisdom and strength for the future. Let go of your pride and then potentially wait to see how God will work to restore and change your heart and your life. Amen to that, you guys. Let's swallow our pride be kind, be loving. And, um, you know, like he stayed away from church and his only regret was not going back sooner. You know, we need to do that. We need to be in the house of God. We need to be following his word, honoring his word. It's going to make us live better. Um, if we're at fault for things, we should be apologizing for it. And a lot of stuff going on, like I said, in the community um, in yesterday's video, we need to not worry about that. We, we need to be the bigger people, swallow our pride, be loving, be kind, enjoy what we do. This is a hobby and a love, and so we just should love it and enjoy our hobby and not worry about all that. But also other things in our life going on. I'm sure we all got other things going on in our life. We just need to be loving and kind and, and like I said, giving our hearts to God. That's the most important is worrying about the Bible, worrying that we're getting our word into God and praying to him and honoring him. And I'm saying this to myself, I need to spend more time with God, um, you know, instead of worrying about what's going on in the world. Um, we do need to worry about, you know, worry about our world, but we also need to be worrying about God. That's the biggest thing to worry about because his wrath is worse than anything could ever be. Nobody could ever hurt us as much as God can. So let's make sure that we honor him in every way and be free of that pride. Wisdom for today. So much time is wasted due to pride. Amen to that. Lord, and regret is hard, is a hard burden to bear. Help us to apologize, forgive reconcile and return whatever it is that our pride has prevented us from being, or I mean, from doing or enjoying. Amen to that. You know, we want to enjoy this, uh, you know, certain things in our life that happen that we're just not enjoying life anymore. We're just not because we're focused so much on trying to fight back, add fuel to the fire. Again, we need to stick up for ourselves and things like that, but we also need to be enjoying life and we're not enjoying life when we're, you know, spending days after days after days, hours on upon hours of fighting, adding fuel to the fire and all that. And again, this is just my opinion. I think this is a terrible thing that we're, you know, that we're all dealing with. It's just sad, sad and silly and immature and sixth grade drama. You know, let's try to be uh, just good people, just good people and just buy what we love and do what we love. And as long as it's not illegal, who cares, right? But what does matter is that our Bible is real and that we read it and that we're real to God. That's the most important thing is that we're real, not what we own in our collection. And it's important to start our day, go through our day, and end our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. We want to read it, study it, honor, obey, and live by it. 
because it does no good unless we do all of that and be picking it up. And I do got to get back to my reading. Um, again, I'm re uh, pre-recording all these videos. Um, today is actually only Wednesday, the 25th, I believe. I will be going to see the ENT tomorrow. So many prayers. I would appreciate it for that to go good because, you know, I'm just having some trouble, uh, not just with the ears and stuff like that, but with my jaw and uh, back in my throat and things like that. I don't know if I have some kind of infection or what's going on, but I am praying for that. Uh, allergies have just been really bad. A lot of pulse nasal drip going on, a lot of sinus trouble. So just praying that they'll figure all of this out. I would appreciate the prayers, you guys. And uh, let's be, you know, praying for others, always praying for others and uh, focusing more on that prayer because we have a lot of lost souls out there that will make a, you know, materialistic item more than a friendship, more than loving the world. So let's try to do that, you guys. All right. I hope you enjoyed the reading today. Swallow that pride. Swallow that pride. All right, you guys, let's get on to Gabriel and let me show you what he's going into. I want to put him into, it's brand new, so we'll be popping tags for Lynn over at My Bella Blessings and new doll clothes for J, uh, U, uh, J Dolls UK. We'll be popping those tags. I want to put them in this one. There's two of them here. I got it. It's organic cotton. It is little me. It's nine months and it's a light blue one with um, a elephant, a giraffe and a lion and then some yellow stars and they're done in like a darker blue and white and um, they are embroidered on it. Just cute and it's just a sleeper that zips. So we're going to put that on them. It's just, you know, the sleeves here doesn't have the foldovers and then it's got the feet in it. The other one on the other side is really cute too. It's got a giraffe and a lion and the stars, kind of same thing, but it's uh, white and pinks or white and blue stripe. But we just want to do this one here, the solid blue. I want to do the solid blue on him. He looks so good in blue. So that's what we're going to put on him. He's got white socks. So we're going to do that. And then I'm trying to decide which hat I want to put. I want to put a hat on him. So I don't know which crocheted one I want. I got these as gifts. So this was the one I thought um, looked really good, but so does this one. So we'll decide after we get it on him, but he'll have a little hat too. Uh, yeah, we just got to get warm because it's been getting a little bit chilly here. So um, not too bad. We have the air off. Um, it's in the 70s, but in the evenings, it's dropping into the uh, um, high 50s to low 60s. So yeah, we just want these babies warm. Let's flip him around here, but we'll turn him to look at you guys. This last outfit I did for a toddler Tuesday, he looks so cute in it. I love these tennis shoes on him, these Converse I got from Amanda uh, from Wawa's Angels Nursery. I got these in a box opening. I love the little Converse. They're adorable. Just a little imitation Converse. Adorable. Fake Converse. <laughs> but I don't think anybody's mad about that, right? <laughs> all right. No. I keep my mouth shut, right? We all got that fight in us and that bite in us, and we want to just, <clears throat> you know? <laughs> But we'll get this off of him. We'll get him dressed. How are you guys doing? Hope you're going to enjoy your weekend. It is Friday, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday, but some of us still have to work. My son usually works Saturdays and Sundays. So, uh, yeah, some of us still have to work. So even though it's Friday, their Friday's like Monday or Tuesday. His is usually Tuesdays. I believe is usually his Friday, his weekend. <laughs> so, but anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. I'm going to try to... He's such a big boy, isn't he? That pickle's a big, big boy. Yes. Big boy or big girl. Big baby. So let's try to get him up higher so you guys can see him. Isn't he gorgeous? Look at that painted hair. His his uh, artist is Deborah Miller. He's just absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. But I want to get myself a girl off of AliExpress, those blonde girls. I want to get myself one because I had a girl and I sold her and I wish I would have kept her. And I saw the ones on AliExpress that you guys are getting with that blonde hair. I really want one. I do. I really, really, really want a girl now, too. A girl pickle because it's such a beautiful baby. We all love these pickles. We do. I know that's what Tammy was saying. We all love the pickles so much, and a lot of us own a pickle. So, you know, and I just absolutely love that blonde one, especially the uh, paint job that they do on it, those rosy, rosy cheeks that uh, she has. And I always do a little bit of work on mine. So we're going to be popping these tags here. So let's pop that tag, and I think that's the only one in here. Yep. So, but yeah, this one is, uh, the brand is Little Me, and I got it from TJ Maxx, like I was saying. So, but yeah, I hope you guys have a nice weekend. It's not the weekend yet for me, but when you see this, it will be Friday, and I hope you guys will enjoy it to the fullest. I like that it has the double zipper, so it can go up or down, which is nice when you're changing a real baby for that purposes, you know, to zip it down so you don't have to take everything off of the baby. That's always nice. But yeah, every pickle wears a different size. This is nine months. I would say that my baby here basically does the nine months. Um, is best fit for him. It's a like not too big, not too small. So I feel mine is nine months is a perfect fit. I always tell people I do believe nine months is almost the perfect fit for most pickles. Some can wear smaller, some can wear bigger. 
but basically it's the nine months uh, for everyone. But uh, some of them, you know, their pickles are a little bit smaller, so theirs can go a little smaller. But uh, mine is a nine months and fits perfectly. So it's kind of hard to tell people. Plus every, um, you know, clothing wear is also different to the way by, but this fits him perfectly. And oh, he looks so snuggly. I can't wait to snuggle this bug. Yeah, I can't wait to snuggle him. Oh my goodness, look at him. He looks so snuggly. Yes, and he looks so cute in that blue. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do this hat for him. I did really like the white and blue. So let's put that on him. Oh, sweet boy. Yeah, sweet boy. That was a quick change in, wasn't it? Let's get you back on your side here. Yeah, let's get you back on your side here. And everybody can look at this snuggly guy. Oh, he's so heavy too, you guys. He's like over 10 pounds. Good size baby. He's weighted really good. I didn't have to do anything with him. I don't think I did with him. No, he actually came weighted really good. So he's perfect. But we'll give him back his bear and his bottle and his blue nook. Now his blue nook matches everything. Um, I just do the modified. He does have a, pass, uh, a magnet in there, but I do the modified one here. And I like that I just got it from one of the AliExpress um, things that I ordered. Came with it. I had a pink and a blue. I still have a pink one too, I think. So I'll use that for my girl. But there you go. He can have the modified one. But he is just adorable, you guys. Absolutely adorable. Love him. Thank you, Tammy, for doing Pickle Week. Thank you for doing Thankful Friday as well. And I need to tell you guys what I am thankful for. I am thankful that there are doctors out there to help us, you know, most of the time can help us with things that are wrong. So I am praying when I go to the ENT, which like I said, today's Wednesday, but you'll get this Friday. My appointment is tomorrow, Thursday. I really hope that they can figure all of this out. But I'm grateful that God has gifted the hands of doctors and medications to help us out. You know, we don't always need those medications, but I'm saying I'm just grateful that there are doctors to help us out when we are going through tough times. And I'm grateful that God has blessed the hands because, you know, hey, they went to school for it. And thank God we have doctors you know, that they wanted to get into um, practice of that. And I'm just grateful for that. And I really hope that they figure out what is going on with me and uh, we can get to the bottom of all of this. Again, asking for prayers. I know you guys, um, when you see this, obviously um, it's, I would have went yesterday, but I'll put it up on the screen. If I knew what, you know, what results it was, I would have had it on the screen here. Actually, I put it right there. If I do know what they told me was wrong and what they're, you know, going to do for treatment for me. Um, if I don't know nothing yet, I will put it when I do know because, of course, some of them, they have to run testing and stuff like that. But hopefully we figure it all out. But anyways, I hope you guys will have a nice Friday evening. Enjoy it to the fullest, and I hope you'll have a nice Saturday. I'll be back tomorrow with another video because I'm going to pre-record up through, I think, Tuesday. So I have all these videos recorded so that I can be working because I'm getting Dee's baby done up and hopefully shipped home by Friday, her summer, um, getting the last seal on it. I do, you know, double sealing. And then um, hopefully get her home Friday or Monday. And then I'm going to be working on a couple babies for sale. A couple of the silicones that I've been doing. I haven't done any for a while because I had so much work I had taken in. So I was busy. But I'm going to have a couple babies coming up for sale. So I'll be watching for them. Full body silicones. The, um, you know, the uh, copies. But done in full silicone. All right, you guys. Well, we are done. We're going to get going. Gabriel's going to blow a kiss. Mwah. He loves all his aunties, uncles, grandmas and grandpas. And all of his little cousins. I love you guys as well. Mwah. But remember that God loves you the most, the most. And we want to swallow that pride, right? You guys swallow that pride and uh, just be loving and kind. And we can't always do that, right? We can't always do that, but let's try our best. I love you guys. Everybody take care. God bless. Let's just move him like this because we like to do this at the end. God bless. And we will see each and every one of you in our very next upload.